Good morning everyone, welcome to another video and welcome to A Day at Valley Pro. Today I'm taking the S15 down to Valley Pro because they're going to do a full paint correction on the car because I've had this car for almost a year now and as time has gone on I've been noticing more and more swell marks appearing on the car's paintwork just from general use, from the car cover I use from not the best car washes that I do I'm not a professional detailer but they are so they're going to give this car some love today and I cannot wait to see the outcome um, There's going to be an annotation at the top right corner of the screen because they did this exact treatment to my old Toyota Supra and that car really needed it they absolutely transformed that car this car although it might look good wait until you see our place we're gonna get into detail today let's do it it is so cold outside it's unbelievable and funnily enough the weather when I came down here to do the super was exactly the same. Citrus pre-wash. This basically helps loosen up the dirt before they actually get the snow foam on. I am looking forward to the snow foam part of this so much. Bit of Dragon's Breath on the wheels, which is actually the same stuff I personally use. Smells awful, but it's great. <laughs> That's Lee over there. That's my mate who's got the very, very powerful Supra. See loads of shit running off the car already. Just that alone is getting so much stuff off. <laughs> Cramping. <laughs> right, so what they're doing now is they've got all the soap, the shampoo stuff in the bucket, getting the jet wash ready. We're going to snow foam the whole car. Now, I'm just gonna leave the camera here for this because I want you guys to see how beautiful my car looks in white. <laughs> or a turbo one or something. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the snow foam has been done. That was so nice to watch. Let it sit for a couple minutes and now we're just going to rinse it off. Technically speaking, because we pre-washed the car with the citrus, we didn't even really need to do this, but then how can you say no to how good it looks when you snow foam a car? So we did it anyways. And as you can see, that jet wash does a really good job getting in all the little nooks and crannies and stuff that S15s have. And trust me, there's a lot of panel gaps in this car. <laughs> Up to this point, we've done the wheels, we have pre-washed the car, we've snow foamed it, we've rinsed it, we've done it again, like snow foamed it uh, with Dragon's Breath twice. Now we're actually washing the car, so the reason we do this is basically to get all the dirt off that we can. Oh look at him go, look at that! Look at the motion there boys! <laughs> um, basically to get as much dirt off the car in advance to actually put in the mittens on the car because if you don't do that it's a lot easier to scratch the car and pretty much that's what I've been doing I'm not gonna lie that's the reason I'm here today these guys are gonna do it properly for me so yeah get as much dirt off the car first then do your normal car wash and they're doing the two bucket method as well <laughs> yeah I thought I'd go grab my camera before I forget about it <laughs> right so bring the S15 into oh wow they've actually got a full-on detail in bay now look at that that is sick right I'll leave you guys here for a second drive the car in okay so the 
cars inside now what they're going to do is they're going to dry it which they're doing right now then we're going to inspect the paint and see what kind of level of polishing this car needs hopefully because this car actually has not very old paint on it it shouldn't be too bad but it is an old nissan so we can only hope just to let you guys know valet pro make their own towels and they're specifically made to not scratch your paint while using the towels right lee's using something i really want to invest in he's got a car blower so what that does is no matter how good you do with the towel the blower will help you to get even more out i need one of them <laughs> oh Now we're going to clay bar the car. Um, Ellie's already started, Lee's doing that side. Um, I am going to get hands on at some point in the day as well, probably with the machine polish because I quite like that. And I just find it really interesting to see how much crap comes out, like the amount of dirt on the clay bars. In fact, so Elliot's just done my side skirts and a bit on my door. And already, all of that has come off my car, even though we've just finished fully cleaning it. Pretty mad. All right, so whenever we're polishing a car, yeah. it's a really good idea to tape it up because there's a load of plastic yeah. trims and rubber seals and stuff. Where if you polish them, it marks them, and it can be a bit of a bust to get them out. So we're going to tape up the headlights and pretty much any other trim that we don't want to get polished on. Sounds, <laughs> <laughs> and what should it be? Well, should hope you'd it hope should it be that like eight. The whole car should be no, double. but in, in in general, what should the car be? Six to seven. Six to seven. So that's so that's so that's basically that's gone sideways in Japan. Bong. Hit a tree. Hit a tree. So now I know why you like your job. <laughs> yeah. I just got this torture me because I don't think you guys really see how bad the swell marks on this car are when you see this at a car meet. Let me show you how it is. That is the entire bonnet just full of swell marks and all the way along it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty bad. That's mad. Elliot's going to do that side first, we're going to leave this side, peel that off and then you'll be able to see the difference between done and not done. Crap. I mean, I don't know if the camera's picking out well, but my eye is like, Jesus. That's a massive difference. I will go over it just to make sure. I want to touch it, it looks so good. 
<laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I was trying not to, but. <laughs> it's gonna strangle you in a minute. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's sort of like just doing small areas at a set, like yeah. small areas at a time. But the whole mirror is pretty much a small area anyway, so it's like, I kind of just go over it. Okay then guys, so as you've just seen, uh, pretty much the whole driver's side of the car is done now. Um, the wind sun, the mirror I did, side skirt I did, a pillar I did, the door Elliot did, rear quarter Elliot did, and he's now doing the spoiler in boot lid as well. We've actually moved the car forward a little bit as well so we can get to the back end of the car because the rear bump is one of the largest single pieces of this car. Uh, but oh my god, honestly, this paintwork has come out so, so good. There's barely any swell marks left in it and What's going to happen is when we finish polishing the car, we're going to let it sit for a little bit for the paint to just set a little bit more. Then we're going to put wax on the car as well, let that set, and then we're going to buff the whole car off. And we're almost going to... In beaver, beaver <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't mind if you've got these bundles. <laughs> right, so literally, put it on this, put it on the car, circular motions, let it sit for a few minutes, buckle off, happy days, let's do it. Time to bring the car outside and see what it actually looks like in natural light. Uh, it looks amazing in here. So just to recap, we have fully washed the car, citrused it, snow foamed it, washed it, clay barred it, polished it, and waxed it. It looks amazing now. Let's go bring the car outside. basically into the rain but oh man this looks nice 
This looks proper nice. I feel bad to even drive it home now after such work's been done to it. Okay then guys, so I'm filming an outro now about a week and a half later and honestly the car still looks as incredible as when I first drove it out of Valet Pro after all the work was done. So to recap, they citrus the car, clean the wheels with Dragon's Breath which I personally use, then we rinse the car, then snow foam the car, then rinse the car, then wash the car, then rinse the car again, then brought it inside. Uh, we used the clay bar spray on thing which smelt, smelt so good. We clay barred the car, then we uh, polished the whole car, then we also waxed the whole car as well, including the wheels. We used back to black stuff, uh, black to the future, sorry, on the black trims, because that really helped to bring them back to life. And yeah, the, honestly, I've edited this video up to this point, and I can tell you guys, this video actually does not do this car or the Work Valley Pro have done justice. Their work's amazing, the car looks amazing, also, if you haven't seen it already, they did the same thing to my Toyota Supra and that car needed it bad and they really brought that black paint back to life. So yeah, make sure you go follow Valley Pro. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. More videos coming soon. Also, if you want to keep up with me in the car a bit more like freshly, follow me on Instagram and TikTok because those are the places where I mo those are the places where I post a lot more often than YouTube. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much to Valley Pro. They are so good to me, honestly. I don't deserve them. Thank you so much, Valley Pro. Elliot, James, Lee, all the guys down there, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.